Hey guys, Oscar here for Not A Grouch and I have a quick tutorial for you. This is about building part of your website with Elementor. We're going to be adding some images that will serve as my preferred partners, so to speak, uh, for you know recommendations. You could do this for logos that you want to display on your website or just simply images that you need to link out to something. Uh, again, this is for WordPress. If you're using Elementor, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, Elementor makes it super easy. And of course, WordPress would also be able to do this without Elementor. So you don't have to have it. Uh, but this is specific to Elementor and WordPress. So let's, let's have a look. Here we have a, uh, a page. I'm actually rebuilding my agency page. So what I want to do is display some of the logos of companies I do business with that I recommend for people like you. So what we're going to do is add these two logos here. Now, this is very nicely laid out already, and I want to show you how I got to this point. Let's delete this and start from scratch. On a new page, I've already created a header. That's not part of this tutorial for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new section right here, and we're going to click on the plus icon here. And because we want two columns, I'm going to use this structure. This structure allows me to put whatever I want on either side. And on one side, we're going to do, we're actually going to do images on both sides. We're going to add the next image here. So now you have two image placeholders. Then we're going to select the image that we want to use here. So we're going to choose image. And the first one I want is Green Geeks. Um, and the next one I want to do is um, WP Engine. Now, WP Engine is another company, so I need to go and find that logo. In order to do that, I have the logo downloaded on my computer already. It's right here. So I'm going to click on Choose Image right here. Select this first, then click on Choose Image. And I'm, I don't have it here. So I, I'm going to upload files, and I can either go and select the files, browse to the location where my files are, or I can simply go here and click on the, the logo that I want and upload it. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Notice how the background turns blue. I'm going to drop it in. It takes a moment to upload. And then I can click on insert media. Now you notice that both are displayed. Let's click on update and have a look at how the page looks. This page is looking great, except this has a logo. I don't, I mean, a, a border. I don't like that. I want it to just be um, clean, white, and I want them to be evenly spaced, evenly laid out. Currently, they don't look the same because the, the logos are different sizes. Let's skip that part for now, and I'm just going to make those be clickable so people can actually go to where they need to go. To do that, go ahead and select the logo that you want to work on again. And right here where it says link, you're going to put custom URL and a new field shows up. In this case, for Green Geeks, we're going to get the website. Okay, so we're going to copy that and we're going to put it here. And I also want to establish some of the parameters for those links. For example, I wanted to open on a new window and update that. For WP Engine, it's the same thing. We're just going to click here, select custom URL, type in the link that you want, and select the parameters to say no follow and update. You'll notice if we refresh the page, now both logos are there and we click on them and they take us there. Now the reason it opens up into a new tab, as you saw here, is because we use that option to open in a new window. So we click on the logo and it opens a new image, a new page. And that's it. That's the tutorial for today. I'm going to go and clean up those images so they line up really nice. You can go check out the final product on the website. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any other questions about WordPress, Elementor, your website management, any website design questions you have, 
feel free to send it my way. Links are always in the description. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you want to get more, and if you want to learn more about all the work I do and get more tutorials, custom reviews, audits of your website, questions answered, go to the description, find the Patreon link, and go check out what I have available for you over there. You'll be glad you did. See you guys next time. Bye.